Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another continuity analysis review thingy here on this here YouTube channel. And today we're actually having a look at a compilation of Nick Jr. bumpers. We have many parts of this and this is number two or something I believe. So what do we see? We see a lot of stuff. We see 2D versions of usually uh, what usually are 3D cartoons and by 3D I mean not something you need to wear 3D glasses for it's something uh, I, I mean it's like computer generated 3D looking you know like um, not flat but like when you rotate it around it looks gives you off an illusion of like a real life human being or a real life object being filmed on a regular camera. So, uh, yes, and here we see this looks a lot like stop motion animation, even though it probably is CG animation. So, we see uh, some kind of hiccups, right? Some kind of repetitions at the end of the clip. So, uh, this once again is a 2D version of a otherwise computer generated 3D uh, animation. Uh, yes, bubble guppies, is that one of the bubble guppies? Or ooh, something with O? No, that's not bubble guppies, that's Umizumi, I believe. So, um, these are nice bumpers, I believe they're Hall Halloween bumpers. They're um, dressing up into all kinds of costumes in order to go trick-or-treating I believe and yeah they've got well that looks like an alligator suit and it looks like a bumblebee and cowboy boots so yeah sometimes you repeat a little bit and we've got Nick and Junior the, hypotam the hypotenuse hippo two hippos hungry hippos yes they're probably hungry hippos so yeah and they tend to repeat a little bit sometimes I don't know why but that's that's how it goes it's almost as if I've never seen this footage in my whole entire lifetime and I haven't really this CGI animation it looks quite nice we've got Dora the Explorer interacting with some other stuff this is actually a pretty modern looking animation actually I'd say this looks very modern fairly recent somehow so yeah this smart place to play it says so we we got B and the word and noggin um, yeah noggin is some kind of project it's related to Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. and all that stuff so yeah a lot of noggin stuff. This looks to me like it's some kind of end credit um, end tag, I believe it's called. So this looks like Paw Patrol, and it's the 2D version, which I love. I like the 2D versions of everything, simply because I don't like the 3D versions that much. I know the technology itself kind of makes me feel uncomfortable, and. There, there's no fault in the animators doing something wrong. I just, the technology itself is making me feel uncomfortable. So I'm happy when I see 2D animations, because uh, it's just more pleasant, pleasant for me to look at. But I'm sure most people don't notice a difference at all. Start your free trial today. Some kind of app or some kind of website. I don't know, but you got trials. That means. You gotta pay after the trial ends because you know you're free to try but then you have to buy a temporary license of some sorts well there's bouncy balls and uh, it's, these motions are not very convincing but they're good enough the smart place to play you know they're appealing they're trying to appeal to the parents of the kids that are gonna watch this because Kids are not concerned about whether the programming they watch is smart or not. They just want to be entertained, right? They just want to be have company of some sorts, and uh, yeah, 
they learn along the way without noticing but the parents they're really obsessed about kids learning you know parents what is it with parents and being obsessed with their kids learning I'm like they're too focused on that how about just letting the kid roam free and wild and have a good time <laughs> keeping it safe of course but what's what what's with all this learning right so what if the kid doesn't learn anything it's gonna learn far too much growing up anyway we need to keep keep the information low I believe that's the in the best interest of kids I don't know I'm just uh, you know um, pointing out the counter arguments of some sorts but I mean yeah they're I think they they're doing it too much like they're focusing too much on learning and it doesn't have to be all about learning like um yeah learning is important adapting to the environment is important and sometimes the stuff you learn isn't really relevant to your environment though so i'd say um do what makes you happy and try to adapt uh at least a certain amount to your environment because you know you're gonna learn anyway whatever you do you're gonna learn it doesn't matter what you do you're good you're learning something as we speak right we're learning everything we see a, an ant and we learn stuff about the ant we learn how it looks we learn how it moves and we didn't even have to try right learning doesn't need to happen on purpose nobody was like you know preparing this ant for us so we can look and observe the ants it just happened right things happen all the time you know you see a cloud and you learn stuff about clouds you know the difference is what will you learn what kind of, of things will you learn and uh, yeah uh, the, you can classify it into two categories useful things and non-useful things but I mean anything you see is probably gonna learn make you learn about it and because you saw it it means something it means that you're encountering this thing in your life a lot so if you're learning about it, it's just an automatic system you don't have to even try you're going to learn stuff but yeah there are some things you can't learn about until somebody teaches you on purpose so yeah there's a silver silver lining to all of it so what do we see here cups magically moving and there's I wonder if this is stop motion or CGI sometimes I'm not sure I can't really tell this could be either of two or a combination of thereof so yeah sometimes they like to in insert CGI stuff into natural environments and, and, and the other way around create CGI environments like surrounding scenes and put stop motion uh, characters uh, or just 2D animations. Wow, this looks amazing, actually. So yeah, this looks actually like it's CGI. Most of it, if not all of it. There may be parts that are not CGI, but I don't know. It looks very much like CGI. I mean, this is. Uh, the reflections on the head that's what makes me uncomfortable with cgi the reflections i believe well so we got all kinds of animals over here and all kinds of repeating bumpers so we see some kind of old one a lot of these were new so we're back to see you know, seeing old bumpers and school backpacks oh backpacks nice so a little bit of a glitch here and there but otherwise it's pretty cool pretty cool compilation I must say so uh, when will we see more stuff is this the end of the video come on like are you glitching out already don't glitch out on me yet I'm just saying that we should not okay I guess this is the end of the video no we see some movements here we see some stuff going on well uh, one more thing and that's the end of the video I guess because we're near the end of the video so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video check out more videos on this YouTube channel and have a nice day see ya